Um, trying to inspire the world, buddy. <laughs> my story is um, I was always an overweight kid. Uh, I was fat growing up, and I always, always wanted to be in shape. Um, I've been thin and heavier throughout my life. Um, the last, going back, say two years ago, I, I reached a high, which was like 232. Um, I actually started, you know, so I'll, what I did do was do, I did the HCG diet, which most people won't recommend. I was kind of ignorant about it, but I did it anyway, but I did it through a doctor. So uh, the good thing was I went and saw the doctor. They prescribed the formula, if you will, and we saw a nutritionist once a week, the doctor once a week. You know, I, I would say, you know, very cautious on that. I wouldn't recommend to everybody. Oh, I, just for fun, what did that cost you? Uh, probably like eight hundred dollars for doctor visits and everything. Yeah, all summed up for two months. For two months. Okay. Um, I, I would never. Even though even people say, "God, that's the stupidest thing you ever done." Five hundred calories, and that's ridiculous. And I wouldn't be here today if I hadn't started doing it because it was always a struggle. It's one of those things where where do you start? For me. Sure. You know, 232, where, where do you get started? Where do you, where, even though you think you're doing it, yeah. I can never get a, a, a foot up. That, that got me going. That, I lost, I think it was like 20 pounds in about two months. And right after that is when I found Dave and uh, we started training. And it, it's just something clicked. It's like, okay, I can do this. And it was, it was just, it was real clear all of a sudden, the, like the light bulb came on or whatever you want to say. Um, that I could really do it. And so we, we worked on programs and diets and exercise and accountability, heart rate monitor, uh, body bug. And um, I think it was maybe, I don't know, six or eight months into the training, I sent Dave an email. And I said, Dave, so what do you think if I want to do a contest? And he said, heck yeah. <laughs> if you want to do a contest, I'll get you where you want to be. I won't let you get on stage unless you're in that shape. But if you want, that's what you want, is your carrot for your goal, he goes, I'll get you there. Ah, carrot for your inner rabbit, I love it. <laughs> so uh, we did, and about, um, I kind of flag it around a little bit. No, 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 don't skip past that, it was to be real, because anybody watching this is stared at their open refrigerator <laughs> at 10 o'clock at night when they know dang well their last meal was at eight. Yeah. So talk, share, share a little bit about how you shut the fridge or the times that you didn't. And then what well, came with that, the guilt, and, and what came with the positive of shutting the fridge? It was, um, it was the fall of 2011, and I was going away for Christmas. And meanwhile, when I was at way at Christmas, I was supposed to be dieting and training hard. And I was supposed to do my, my weights and my cardio every day while I was in Buffalo and watching my diet, because when I got back in January, I was supposed to pretty much be, you know, where I need to be for a contest. And I'm real, I'm home in Buffalo, and my mom's there, and I got to the gym pretty much every day throughout, throughout the weight training. I was doing any cardio, and the diet was, you know, semi-cleaning with my buddies. I'm out drinking and eating more than I should have. And I came back in January, and <laughs> Dave called me up one day, sent me an email, called me up, and said, uh, I'm going through all your notes, because at the same time, I would send him my notes, uh, accountability. I'd send him my, my numbers, my numbers every day, what I did. What are those numbers? Uh, it was my... Um, Very basic email. Yeah, it was my um, calories out, my weight. I think what I did. It was uh, the workout. Okay. It was how many calories you burned during the workout. Right. And that was basically it. That's all I okay. knew. Yeah. Because I know what's going in. Yeah. Unless, of course, we change that. Right. Moving forward. So then... Dave called me out and was pretty pissed and said, buddy, I don't see any cardio here. So tell me I, I'm missing something. Where all, where's all your cardio? And I had to be honest, and I'm not gonna lie, I said, I didn't do any cardio when I was in Buffalo, you know, and I didn't. And um, he was pretty upset. And Why? Said, because I told you, committed myself, that I was gonna, I was gonna do what I said I was gonna do. You are gonna compete. I was gonna compete. This is not about looking good to right. the neighbor. This isn't about your wife wanting to think you're more attractive. This is about beating another guy. Right. That, was that my goal. is a different, that's a different level right. altogether. That was my goal. Yeah. And I I didn't do what I said I was going to do. 
and um, I felt bad and um, had to step back and, and, and figure it out. And it took about a month and um, started it up again. Not again, but kind of re-motivated myself. And actually, <laughs> I met somebody else and said to me that the Grand Prix was coming up in March of 2012. And this was like around um, early February. And they said to me, I said, well, are, are you doing the Grand Prix? And I said, well, no, I'm not ready yet. And they said, well, you're ready. I said, no, I'm not ready. Yeah, you're ready. Just do it. So I called up Dave and said, <laughs> Dave, I'm doing the Grand Prix. And Dave said, okay, great. And then I told him, I said, you know, it's kind of a, a it's a pretty uh, big boy show. And Dave said, okay, whatever. <laughs> so um, that was it. So I, you know, full bore, got my diet in line, got my cardio in line, doing two hours of cardio a day, training every day, got my diet tight, and uh, stepped on stage. Uh, for the Grand Prix 2012. Wait, 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 wait. we're missing some steps here. Oh, okay. Acknowledging the definition of tight. Okay. Tight means dang close to solid. Okay. Tight is almost secure. Your diet wasn't secure. Right. It was tight. To step on stage, it has to be secure. Okay. Talk to, I mean, let's be real and share some experiences. I know we had a, a, a conversation about a handful of popcorn at night. <laughs> or um, yeah. just anything outside of the, a, a, a carrot. Right. If it's not on a piece of paper, you don't get it. Right. How are we finding popcorn in our mouth or a carrot? Thinking that in my own head, that surely, and this is what I, the game I would play, is that, okay, that carrot or that, that you know, cup of popcorn, surely if I'm eating as strict as I am, I'm doing two hours of cardio a day and killing the weights every day, that that possibly can't be that detrimental to my sure. diet, which is a fair argument. It was, <laughs> and it you you won that argument in your head more yeah. nights than not. Oh yeah, giving yourself a carrot or yeah. a piece of popcorn. Yeah, and what happens with your weight? It didn't go down like it should have. Acknowledging that he's negative, however many thousand calories a day, he's killing himself, and a handful of popcorn at 10 o'clock at night was killing it. Mm -hmm. So we had a conversation about glycemic index. I told him that a Snickers bar would have been better than a handful of popcorn. So when he was cheating, he didn't understand that he was, like cheating with a rice cake is one of the worst things you could ever do. Right. It is so high glycemic that it stores his fat now, yesterday. So right before he was going to bed, he was A, spiking on insulin, his insulin levels, which was blunting his HGH release, his, his testosterone on those hormones that are supposed to be released at night. He was blunting them. That's what happens. If you didn't read that article, well, that's why why we're doing this interview is that's why you don't eat. That's why you give yourself that that window before you go to sleep. Mm -hmm. And then acknowledging that uh, if your body can't digest the food while you're sleeping, then I mean a handful of popcorn that's not a digestion issue. Obviously, it's super high glycemic, so it's been digested yesterday. But either way around, your body needs that 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 window, I guess, to, to digest all the rest of your food. That's why it's called fast, break fast. You're breaking it fast. Half of America doesn't ever eat fast. There's no breaking it, so they don't eat it anymore. Anyway, moving, that was my little rant. So <laughs> um, we, we got we got the popcorn yeah. killed, mm -hmm. and we were stuck at like 176, I think, forever. Yeah. And it's hard for me to look at a peer of mine and a friend and, and a man that I respect who's older than me and call him out. It, and, and to do it with respect is even harder. The second he took that piece of popcorn out of his mouth, what happens? Weights start going down. What did that mean to you? It, it was a good feeling because I knew that now I finally got it. it. I wasn't getting it. You know, it's always like you always think you can cheat. It's like, it's always, it's the story where you know, you're, gonna just only, you're only gonna cheat yourself. So even though I was eating that popcorn, I knew I was cheap when I was eating that popcorn. 50 I, calories? I thought I'd get away with it. I thought, okay, surely I'd get away with this. And because Dave doesn't know. <laughs> Dave's never gonna find out if he eat this popcorn, except for I had, to, I had to get on the scale every day and report my numbers back and the scale wasn't going down. Something and Dave would beat his head against the wall going, I don't get it. If you're not lying to me and you're doing what I'm telling you to do and you're that negative on your calories, why aren't your numbers going down? Either I suck at my job or you're lying. Right. And with Dell, I starting to think that I was out of my education, that I, there was something going on in his body that I couldn't, couldn't fix. 
three different equations, all of which worked very well on the body. I used all of them on him and it wasn't dropping. So that's when we came out and we had the 4% conversation. You're not doing 4% of it, or you're doing 4% you're not supposed to. What is that? And it was literally 50 calories of popcorn. That, that carrot for the inner rabbit, I mean, you chase it, you chase it, you chase it, but eventually, you chase it hard enough, you get it. And he got his carrot. And, and that was a neat, neat thing watching you stand on that stage. Hmm. But even neater for me was seeing what he gets to carry around with him every day, every room he walks in. He'll call me up now and be like, I remember the first time you said this. You got excited. Somebody asked me for advice. Yeah. Be it going from the fat, skinny fat guy back and forth his whole life, he walks into the gym and some 18 year old punk wants to look like him. He's over 50. That's cool. Yeah, I get that a lot now. Mm-hmm. <laughs>